All right, welcome back. Plastic Models by Regular Dude. Good evening. Now I am going to start assembling this kit. So the plan is I'm going to work on some of these parts. And what I will do is um, start assembling things and <coughs> I may not go with every single step with what I'm doing. Um, I may just discuss parts where a uh, person might want to watch what's going on. So anyway, I'm going to start with this uh, part right here. So let's get cracking. Okay, I have these sub-assemblies uh, completed here on page three of the instructions. And uh, <clears throat> everything's done and ready to paint. And I did it in sub-assemblies because it really needs to be painted before it's put together and needs to be painted before some of the photo etch parts are installed. So uh, what I did is I made myself a little some notations here so I don't forget to do anything on what needs to be completed once the painting is done. So for example, um, on this first section here, everything is done except for this PE15 which is a pre-painted part that goes right here. So I'll spray the interior color on this part and with everything else as well at the same time. And then once all that's dry, then I'll um, install that part and then I can start doing a little bit of weathering. Um, so that's it on that side of the fuselage. This side of the fuselage, uh, same thing. Uh, I assembled this <coughs> part right here, which I believe is a radiator intake. Uh, that was installed that I can paint uh, the detail parts after uh, I paint the, the base color um, and then a photo etch part goes here so I shave that smooth in preparation uh, to install the photo etch part but again I won't install that until after I paint the interior part so that part of the fuselage is done then I had to assemble the cockpit and uh, <coughs> The parts I did, I didn't do the con control stick because I want to paint that, since it's two colors, I want to paint that um, after I get this painted. But everything else is the same interior color. Um, so I assembled all of that, the um, uh, rudder, pedals, uh, these two photo edge parts here, small photo edge part there, the other parts. That is all complete with the exception of the seat. The seat, I put the one photo etch part on there because it's supposed to be the same color as the seat. And then I assembled the photo etch belts. As you can see in here, so I got those uh, assembled and I will, once I paint and chip, this seat up. I want to add some chipping to it, you know, from pilot getting in and out. I'll uh, assemble the, the seat belts to the seat, get them formed and shaped in a natural kind of um, state, and then I can install that onto the cockpit and assemble it all together. Um, the only other part I have to do will be, uh, in, and again, I made my, a note to myself, is I will have to do the PE parts. Uh, for the instrument panel once this has all been painted. So I'll pre-assemble these photo etch parts here and then carefully install it onto this instrument panel here. And that will complete page three of the instructions. So I think with that I will call an end to this video segment on the 109 build and uh, next next time I will show the painted and weathered uh, interior parts and then begin on page five which is the remaining cockpit instrument panel uh, the firewall and the associated parts and then begin on the engine so anyway that's it for this segment of plastic models by a regular dude questions or comments below as usual and thanks for joining and i will see you next time Okay, so 
where I left off was I was <clears throat> going to do some painting and um, I got the inside of the fuselage um, the cockpit area of the fuselage I got those painted I also got the cockpit and the seat um, what I did is I used Leo surface primer black to put a base down because I always like to use uh, primer and um, as you can see I taped it off because I can't stand you know having to scrape paint away and I don't like um, gluing parts together where there's paint I just I like clean plastic and I know that to me extra thin and I have done it when need be to me extra thin will dissolve the paint and stick it together but I just I just like bare plastic so did that and uh, then I got um, the cockpit and the seat now on the seat what I did is I sprayed it with um, the primer first then I used the Vallejo model air aluminum on top of that then I used this hairspray and then I used the RLM 2 over that and then once it uh, cured up a little bit I did some uh, chipping on it using the hairspray method and it turned out pretty nice I like it so what I will do next is I will uh, finish these parts up, which is um, the photo etch part for the inside of the fuselage here. Uh, there's another photo etch part that goes here and on the other side. And um, I'll paint up the control stick. And then I will assemble the uh, photo etch instrument panel to put here in the cockpit and then I will do the seat belts on the seat the photo etch seat belt so I'm gonna do that real quick and then come back and uh, let you see what's been going on before I get too far building this stuff I figured I would give you a quick rundown on how I um, remove photo etch parts um, <clears throat> from the fret. I have a piece of uh, a 50 cent piece of ceramic tile I got from the local uh, do it yourself center, Lowe's to be exact. And uh, using this type of blade here, I, I normally use a round blade, but um, but uh, in this case, I'm using this one. My son's using a round one, and I don't feel like changing it. All I do is just the little part of the fret, the part that attaches the fret to the photo etch part. I just rest my blade on there. Let me zoom it in a little bit and see if this will help. And just slide it till it butts up against the actual part. And then I just rock it back and forth and cut it. And then I do that all the way around, making sure it has detached. It cuts it pretty close, but not completely. So I end up with this, and there'll be like some little tiny nubs there. And then what I'll do is using my flat file, I just hold it in my hand like this, and carefully, using a dragging motion, Get those little, get those little nubs off of there. Okay, so that's all there is to it. Then I use some uh, gel type um, super glue. That way I can position it a little bit, stick it in place, and off you go. So I'm going to do those real quick and come back. Okay, step through page three is now complete. 
The sides are painted, photo etch installed, cockpit is complete with the seat belts and uh, everything else. The control panel or the uh, instrument panel. Let's see if I can zoom in on this here, baby. There you go. So that is done there. So page three is complete. Now we can flip over to page four. Page four is the uh, instrument panel with the gun sight, um, the uh, firewall, and the gun bay or the gun um, platform, and then the engine. So I'll start cutting some of this stuff off and uh, start putting it together. Here's a quick note on uh, these instrument panels. They're in two pieces, like I mentioned before. You've got the face and then you've got the actual gauges themselves. And I'm just not as steady as I used to be, so it's not just a matter of putting the um, cement on there or the uh, super glue on there and gluing it together. So, what I've start doing and this may not be big news to anybody because other everybody might already do it but I take the two pieces and I line them up like that and I take a clothespin and clamp one side of it okay and what it'll do is it'll just spread the edge ever so slightly and then what I do is I put some of my thin um, super glue on here and then I take my handy dandy tool here which is just a needle with the end of the loop cut off so touch it to that and it wicks up the super glue and then I just touch it to the edge here and capillary action will suck it down inside of that crack or the where the two pieces are together and then I just take my tweezers get a little squeeze make sure it's together good and voila so I'll let that sit for a sec flip it over and do the other side and that way it's lined up properly and I don't have to worry about it being all wonky looking okay so page four I'm now complete <clears throat> as I mentioned <clears throat> the only parts that go together for the engine is just basically the two sides of the block the front portion where the propeller goes in this part right here that's it um, so everything will fit for the uh, cowling and so forth whenever you put it together uh, the instrument panel I got that assembled and the gun sight and installed on this part here so that's ready to go uh, the cockpit I did just a little bit of weathering on it not much um, so that's ready to go. So since that is done, I'm ready to skip to page 10 for the fuselage assembly. Here, which basically shows how to put it together um, using the minimal parts on the engine block so I am going to get that little bit trimmed off there and do a little bit of test fitting uh, then I'll come back and actually cement this part together so until next time thanks for uh, joining me on plastic models by regular dude questions comments below and I'll see you on the next episode